Hello. The Ed. Yeah. Hey, what's happening? How are you? Yeah, I'm all right. What you doing? Nothing. You know who this is? This is uh, Pittsburgh Steelers starting quarterback Ben Roethlisberger. Who? Ben Roethlisberger, the starting quarterback of the AFC representative in the Super Bowl. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. What do you mean, am I sure? Yes, I'm sitting here right now in Tampa. I've arrived with my teammates, and uh, I wanted to talk with you about a few things, as a matter of fact. But now, hold on, hold on. Let me quiz you real quick. All right. You say you're Ben Roethlisberger, huh? No, I say Uh, I'm Ben Roethlisberger. What jersey number you wear? I wear number seven. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Um, wait a minute. What college you went to? I went to Miami of Ohio. What? All right. How are the beaches in Miami? Don't try and trip me up. There are no beaches in in the uh, state of Ohio. That you're thinking of Miami, Florida. Huh. What's your coach name? Listen, the, the, I don't need the answer to you. I have some uh, some questions to ask you, sir. How dare you? Da- I, I've listened to uh, to Damashek. I, I, I there's uh, no bigger fan of Damashek than number seven, Big Ben Roethlisberger. And uh, the one thing that I don't like about his podcast is when you come on and disparage my good name. I've never heard it. What are you talking about? You've never heard it. I've never heard the show. I yeah, but you're on about. it, though, and you say bad things about me, and I don't appreciate that. I'll, I, first of all, I'd like an apology. For what? I mean, listen. Okay. I Listen, listen you, you say... Probably, you you're say, probably who you say you are, but listen, here's what I'm going to tell you. You're not a great... You're not a real great quarterback, man. You're riding on your team's defense. All right, listen. I am the winningest quarterback at this stage of my career, the winningest quarterback in NFL history at this stage, and so That's fine. So that, you get hurt next year and you break your leg. Listen, I don't want to talk about uh, that I'm going to get hurt. I don't I appreciate don't know how to ride a motorcycle. All right, listen. I don't want to talk about that either. I am offended by the fact that you say the Steelers should have used last year's draft pick on Brady Quinn. Listen, I've won a Super Bowl. I've taken my team to another uh, to another listen, Super you Bowl. You got to ask the experts. The defense won those Super Bowls, man. You're like, see, like Rex Grossman, he's a great quarterback. Man, and, and they say that the, that the Bears went to the Super Bowl because of the defense, just like you. I mean, you you third-rate quarterback, man. Don't worry I, about it. You I won't, get better. I won't stand for you to disparage me like this. That's, that's an absolutely unfair. Well, I'm sure Rex Grossman is a swell fella. But look, like I said, I win more than any quarterback has ever won five years into, into his career. And uh, like I say, two Super Bowls in five years ain't bad. Well, you're not going to win this week. <laughs> I, that's not funny. All right, you know what? I can't continue doing this. i got to let you off the hook, Dad. This isn't Ben Roethlisberger. Yeah, I knew it wasn't. Who what was do you it? mean you didn't know? It was a, you, you did. You were talking to me like you thought I was Ben Roethlisberger. And, uh, you always thinking you're somebody, but you're not somebody, so you can't be nobody. Well, then who do you, th- <laughs> who do you think this is then? I'm not sure now. All right, well, uh, it's it's Dave Damashek, the person whose show you say you've never listened to, even though I'm generous enough to welcome you onto my show. I know, on I got to get a, I got to know, I don't even know the website for it, man. Well, oh, I'll tell it to you now, 710ESPN.com and 1250ESPN.com. That's how you can track me down. That's a long website. ESPN.com and uh, go to page two. You'll find me up there most every day. Why you ain't on the first page? Listen, I, I, I'm not interested in answering to you, and why are you quizzing me about this? I call, And by the way, forget about Roethlisberger. We'll get into the Super Bowl in just a minute here and the bad things you've said about him. I would think that you would want to be contrite after all the bad things you've said about uh, Big Ben, and now he's taking his team to a second Super Bowl in just five years. I would think... Defense, that, man, I told you. Just like everybody always says about... About the other stuff, it's defense. All right, I, listen. F- besides, Trent Dilfer, but wearing number seven. All right, that's absurd. Listen to what I'm saying to you. What is the story now? Can you tell me this? I, I've heard through the grapevine. I met a guy. You lived out here in Los Angeles for a little while, a few months back, and I ran into a friend of our, of ours, of yours, I guess, who said that uh, his name was Reggie. And he said that uh, he said that for some reason you've been talking bad about me. What is your problem with me? I 
don't know. I well, mean, you know. What he said. He said that you've been spreading it to a bunch of different people that, that sup, for some reason, you have a problem with me. Now, I don't got no problem with you. You just kick me off your message board, that's all. Listen, I don't keep you off of anywhere. I, no, you uh, kicked me off. I mean, you put me in a whole, like, other cell block or something, like I'm locked up somewhere. Now, listen. I, look, I don't know what you're talking about. I do my best to to let everyone hear what you have to say. On occasion, you have some lucid thoughts about football. So I bring you onto this podcast pretty much every week. And what thanks do I get? You didn't I have call to, last I, week. No, last I didn't week call. You didn't call. You had some producer call me. Hey, uh, would you mind being able to be on the show today? Mm-hmm. I sat and waited by the phone for. Like 92 hours, man, and you never call. <laughs> I don't believe that that's true. Listen, we arranged something, and uh, I, I, I thought you needed a week away. I thought you would be he- too humiliated anyway to come on the show after all the, uh, after all the bad things you had to say about Roethlisberger to, to be proven wrong again as the Steelers advance to the Super Bowl. Again, I, I'm waiting for my apology, and I'm waiting for an apology to Big Ben Roethlisberger. Yeah, I'll mail you a letter, but all right, fine. Because I'll tell you what, I'm not interested in uh, in being accosted in the grocery store by your friends Reggie and whoever else coming up to me and telling me how how the Ed is angry with me. Well, you know what? I'll have to ask him about it because I don't believe you. I don't know how you know I know him, but because he told me he knew you. Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, you could be making up something else, you know. All right, I'm not making anything. I, what do you mean something else? I don't make anything up. You're, You're the one who comes. Oh, I'm going to call you back. Oh, we're going to get you on the show. Oh, we're going to give you $1,500. Oh, <laughs> we're going to do this and that. We don't ever get nothing. I have never promised you $1,500. I've never offered you $2. Uh, you need to go back and listen to your shows, man. I don't know what to tell you, man. I I don't know. Well, Maybe how would you know? Talk about it, or you just just. No, I want an apology. I want an. I I welcome you on to this show. Listen, what I'm supposed to say? I'm sorry about that. That my team lost, and your team, and and we already crushed your team once. So my team should automatically be in the Super Bowl. If it was the BCS, I'd get voted in because my team beat your team head to head. So hey, I'm Super Bowl champ. That's all. Well, first of all, that's not the way it worked in this past college football season. Obviously, Texas didn't go to the national championship, even though they beat Oklahoma. One and two. Uh, who cares about what the Indianapolis Colts did in the middle of the season at this point? That's ancient history now. The fact that you say Roethlisberger should have been replaced by Brady Quinn a couple of years ago is just absurd. I would think have. they would ought to, they would have been undefeated and probably been undefeated two years in a row with him at quarterback. That's silly. That's just, now you're being silly with that kind of. Why thing. they got a C quarterback right now? The Brady Quinn's an A quarterback. <laughs> he is, is he? Yeah. All right. I mean, you'll see, you'll see Cleveland Browns in two more years. Super Bowl time, Super Bowl time. All right. Well, right now we're worried about Super Bowl Forty Three. Let's well, talk. No about... one's even going to watch. They said this is supposed to be the lowest rated Super Bowl. Who since said it wasn't that? Wasn't even on TV. Oh, who said that? I don't believe that at all. I read it on the, on the internet somewhere. Well, there's no football team more popular than the Pittsburgh Steelers. So, so you're. I've pre- seen more Cardinal jerseys. In my neighborhood, than anything, I've got one. Franklin's got one. That's two. I ain't seen nobody else with one on. Well, you live in Las Vegas, which isn't very far from Phoenix. Listen, you try to make a point. I told you the truth. Don't uh, worry about it. Well, I am worried about it because I think you skew things to make your own point, and then uh, and, and then when you can't do that, you just make I've up even stuff. Got two. I've got a Kurt Warner jersey mm-hmm. and a Larry Fitzmaier jersey. Larry Fitzgerald. Yeah. Number 11. Yep, two ones right by each other. Right, but his name's Fitzgerald. Yeah, right on the jersey. One, one. Right. So that means they won the game. I didn't know that that was what he meant to, when he chose number 11 there. But all right, so you have Kurt Warner and you have Larry Fitzgerald's number 11 jersey, right? Uh-huh. Okay. I so, got him right there. All right. Now what about a Roethlisberger jersey? They don't make them. You gotta be. You gotta be one of the most popular players in the league to get a jersey made after you. You know. What are you talking I mean, you about? You just can't be. You just can't be going to Pizza Hut talking about. Oh, you got that and you got this. Don't make no sense. <laughs> what What does Pizza Hut have to do with any of this? 
Where the jerseys? You get jerseys, you got to wear them there. All right, listen. First of all, I've seen plenty of uh, number seven jerseys around Pittsburgh, and as a matter of fact, around the country. People love. Yeah, I heard you went to the game. Yes, that's right. I did. I went to the AFC Championship. I thought game. you were supposed to be some type of celebrity. What does that mean? What kind, of, what kind of seats did you have, man? Was you up there announcing the game? No, I said, listen, we sit up high. I said, I, I sat in the family seats. Uh, I, to me, it looks like somebody did that Photoshop stuff and put you in there. I don't think you was at the game. Well, I was there. You can still hear that I have a cold from it, so that should prove it to you. 